So before we move on to the next section, I kind of wanted to add an addendum to this section. And uh, I forgot to mention why I ended up painting my spec maps before my uh, displacement for this demo. Um, and it's because when I took my displacement maps, originally I had the idea of taking these displacement maps and leveling them a bit so I can get my spec maps. Because I thought, you know, because of the poor details, this was actually going to read much better than driving from my color. What I ended up finding was, um, let's take, let's break this back down here. And so I ended up doing something like this. getting a spec map, something like this. So when I first looked at this, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. This is working exactly the way I want, and it's going to read really well. Well, the problem was that in th this displacement scan, I'm getting these um, white dots that are blemishes on the face. And it actually ended up hurting me when I rendered this, because all these white dots started rendering um, much with a higher specular um, quality, as well as these wrinkles in the forehead, they ended up just kind of being too graphic, um, and I, I wasn't happy with it. And so what I ended up doing was, I ended up taking my color map, like so, and I ended up doing a levels to this. Um, because what ended up happening was I painted it well enough that I was getting this fine detail in here. And it actually was rendering much better. I was actually getting a better result. Um, and because of the discussion that I had before about the complexity between independently painting your displacement and your color, it actually also allows you the freedom to do something like this. Where obviously what I ended up doing is I ended up brightening up the areas in the eyes, um, I left the eyebrows as is because I wanted to actually block out that uh, uh, specularity in the eyebrows. Uh, and then I let I l actually left the lips as they were, and then in the secondary spec, brightened it up like I did in that demo, and then brightened this up. But my point being, um, because I was able to paint my, I allowed myself to paint the d displacement independently from the color, uh, making this kind of on-the-fly shift to this map actually didn't hurt me at all because everything is independent and it actually gave me an even more complex look and something that I really liked so I just want to kind of I wanted to talk about that before we moved on to painting details in the color maps um, so this is basically what I ended up doing so for instance I <coughs> grabbed another levels oh sorry actually took this levels um, put it down a bit, and then I added a reveal to the layer mask, and then in here, took a soft brush, just painted it back in, like so. And this is how I ended up driving my base spec map. Nose I left dark, inside the nostrils I left dark because I wanted to leave that. Uh, I didn't want it to be too shiny. Um, and then on the ears, painted some of this back here. Like so. So you can see on this side what's happening. Let's 
So this is what my spec map generally ended up looking like for the base spec. And then I had that secondary spec that got more of the wetness around the eyes, around the nose, and the lips, and the ears. So this is what I ended up doing. So I wanted to talk about that because um, I don't think I made it clear before. And as I was talking about my displacement, it kind of, I think, might have been confusing why I did the spec first. Um, so from here, I have this displacement and then this spec on top. And I end up getting a really good result. So just wanted to cover that. So let's uh, stop this video and let's move into further refining the color maps and painting more detail.